Okay. Now, um, is CO2 an acid or a base? Um, so for carbon dioxide, it's a bit more tricky as there are no <clears throat> obvious uh, hydrogens to donate and no um, obvious OH minus to produce or uh, anywhere really even to accept an H plus. Um, CO2 is considered an acid Um, this is mostly because um, if you bubble CO2 through water then you get uh, carbonic acid which um, is which definitely does have an H plus that can be donated And so if you bubble carbon dioxide in water, it will uh, be, it will lower the pH. So you'll get an acidic pH. Um, but uh, uh, on top of that, for just carbon dioxide itself, um, oxygen atoms are, uh, are quite highly electronegative, whereas um, carbon is not. So, um, the electron density within the molecule is going to be uh, favored at the oxygen end. So that's what I mean by these little delta negatives is that the molecule will be more negatively charged at the ends than at the, at the center. Uh, the delta just signifies that it's small, so it's less than an electron's charge, um, but it's, it's present. So what that means is um, in reactions like this one, where you have it um, reacting with a heavily negatively charged, uh, in this case, atom, but or a molecule, then uh, carbon dioxide will act as an electron acceptor, which um, makes it a Lewis acid, right? So if it acts as an electron acceptor, then it's acting as a Lewis acid. And so then the product of this reaction um, would be uh, C O. Okay, and so that would, that would be minus, minus, uh, because there's seven electrons around oxygen in both cases, so those are negatively charged. The carbon here is still neutral, and uh, this oxygen is also neutral. And so this is the uh, carbonate anion, uh, or CO3, two minus. Uh, as you can see, the, the charge is balanced, so, um, so that looks good. Um, and yes, so in this case, CO2 is acting as a Lewis acid. So when reacted with, um, with anions, it, it, act, it will act as a Lewis acid. And so carbon dioxide is, is, uh, is an acid, or acetone is an acid. Um, so carbon dioxide is considered a Lewis acid because it can accept electrons uh, from electron donors, as in the example I showed here. Um, and it only completely becomes an acid when you've dissolved it in water and forms a carbonic acid. So that looks good.